Hi, I'm Dr. Robert Kassar, and we're here for another exciting adventure of Earthshift Kitchen. Usually we do most of our ideas, concepts, and different things in the kitchen, in the house, but today we're out in nature's kitchen. And today we're going to share with you something very, very interesting. Um, would you believe that minerals are everything? I mean, that's a tough concept to be able to realize. But let's show you what it does in plants. And remember, when you're healthy, you actually take on the same formation as what nature does. So what works for the plants, okay, will work for us. We're just talking about naturalistic things. And I want to show you something very, 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 uh, you can call it enlightening, but I call it wow. Okay? This is a plant that we've been playing with for, oh, I'd say about, uh, probably about, uh, probably almost two months. And this is a tobacco plant. And you can see how it's got all these big veins all over it. And it's sort of feeling like it's leathery. It's really got this sort of oily substance to it, which tobacco is. And you can see this leaf is probably, I don't know, at least 16, 17 inches long. It's big, okay? Now, this plant is actually the same as this plant right here. <laughs> Check this out. All right, so we'll get down here now. This plant right here is the same as <laughs> this plant. And you should say, what's the difference, Doc? Well, I'll tell you the difference. Well, we're doing a little experiment. This is uh, our farm at Earthshift Hawaii, which is what we call it. And we've do, done many different experiments and different types of research and different types of, of things that actually, since we're in the growing capital of the world, and you can see the sun is straight up, okay? I've never been on the planet where the sun actually will start out in the center of your horizon and end straight down. Wow, instead of the sun being at this angle or, and actually in winter, way at this angle, you can see how right now the sun is going directly over us. So we're in the, uh, called the, the best stage in the world if you wanna play around with plants and watch them grow. Hawaii has a huge growth cycle. So I'm gonna show you the growth. Now this is about a 60 day experiment and you can see this plant for some odd reason just didn't grow. It didn't have what it took to be able to actually, well, become a solar being and become, as you can see, super vein. And super vein means the plant can be an absorbent solar panel. So we have the difference between this plant and this is only, remember, one leaf. Wait until you see the other plant. This plant here takes just like all plants and just like we do. Remember, this is the same as what you would say, um, whatever works for the plants, there's a sort of like a harmonic or a physiology that goes along with this. It takes 15 minerals for plants to actually really exist in minimal life, not just three like we get on our foods, NPK. You'll see that later, we'll talk about that. Those are fertilizers. So if the plants really only have a f several little minerals, you can see they don't really grow because there's about 75 minerals in the ocean. And this planet here is made of minerals. Your body is made of minerals and your body's most abundant mineral is calcium. It's about 3.6% of your total body weight, okay? That's a lot of skeletal. That's a lot of, a lot of, uh, that's the skeletal, you know, system. So what we look at is minerals actually make things work and you can see how the minerals in this plant and this plant is super oily this one here has like sort of peach fuzz on it or weird stuff and it really didn't even grow at all and we've done about uh, I think we got about a dozen plants here let's show you the rest of the plants this is remember think of what we're talking about if you take in the right minerals a plant needs 15 minerals to exist in life and it needs water and it needs sunshine we have many different videos on these types of ideas, okay? Minerals are everything. Look at one of the videos we have called the light bulb experiment. Now it'll show you basically what conductivity does. You're just gonna see what it does, but then you can actually see the science behind it with the light bulb experiment. Remember, we're really trying to learn something and, and, and not just learn, but you're really trying to prove to yourself that it's true so you can share this idea to other people. And that's, you know, a big growth is to be able to share um, 
these different types of ideas only when you do the homework yourself. I'm doing the homework right now and I'm gonna show you what minerals do. Okay, we're gonna show you the lineup now. The lineup is uh, the plants uh, that we put into the ground and these were a dozen tobacco plants. I'm not sure what the strain is, but they're heirloom tobacco. And you can see, again, this leaf is way bigger than all the plant. And this is a leaf from the other plant. You can see it's maybe two inches and this one's at least 16 inches. This plant here still didn't beat one leaf size. It does have four flowers on top. It does have some pretty minimal tobacco, and I bet you if you check the certain types of things that are living in tobacco or a healthy plant. Now you can see that this plant here doesn't even exceed the size of the leaf. It did, like I said, go through a flower stage. So what do you think now? Let's just uh, get this idea. You can see how plants, and we'll show you the other plants at the end of uh, this row here, what it does when it has the right things in it. Now, what if, let's say you, well, this is like a dwarf person, not even dwarf, this is a person that's neurological deficient. This would be like a very uh, severely limited person that would be a human. And this would be a person, let's say, maybe a normal person. They didn't get much. They got uh, really demineralized. They can flower, they can reproduce. But what would you think if this generation, as weak as it is, and of course, from this generation, which is strong as it is, do you think that the offspring would actually be better than this one's offspring? No, these plants actually only holograph what they are at the time a lot of times. So a lot of times these plants may flower, but they're most likely sterile or incomplete, and they'll grow another plant just like this because it's just holographing itself. It's just duplicating itself. And sometimes this takes a few generations, and sometimes it takes a few generations in us to be able to have this weird sort of effect. And all you have to do is look at about maybe 50 years of people. You would think we'd be like super people right now. All the different types of convenience foods and different things that we're eating and drinking. And you would think that would be superstars around the planet. Um, but you see, if you actually go to one of the major superstores, you'll see uh, that the herd, most of them have definitely a lot of accumulation and we call that accumulation body fat and it's usually because your skin pores are plugged and you don't have the right minerals in your body so your body can actually regenerate itself and maybe function correctly and grow and reproduce correctly instead of well having the minimal 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 as you can see here here's the flowers on top of this here it did bud flowers now Let's go down the line here. Look at the next plant. Okay, now this is a Samoan coconut plant. This tree in five years will be about, oh, probably at the top 20 feet up to here, and it'll produce 100 coconuts like this. Remember, we're living in a place, as long as this tree gets the minerals, it'll produce the fruit. As long as this plant gets the minerals, it will produce what it's supposed to. Now let's look at the next one. Okay, now we're gonna show you something that you may have not really realized. That's why I've done a lot of research before having Rancho de los Palmas over in Moore Park, California for about 25 years. We've put on hundreds of experiments with everything from uh, meteorite to crystals to just basically giving thing min minerals and giving the plants things that maybe they're not supposed to have. Now, let me show you this. This is a Samoan coconut tree. This coconut tree, like I said, will grow 20 feet in about five years and give a ton of fruit. Now, you can see, since this plant, we didn't do anything to it. Now, the only problem is we may have had a mongoose pee on it or something. We don't have dogs, so it's not like any of these got perverted with any type of urine, which, of course, is a fertilizer, if diluted correctly. And, of course, the animal's eating the right food so it doesn't burn the plant. Now, this plant here is growing next to this plant, and the ethereal energy from this plant is helping this plant grow, because we didn't give any of these plants any more minerals than you see. So I've noticed when uh, I was in Moore Park at Rancho de las Palmas, we planted a lot of plants that were actually very big. And 10 years later, they were really big. And then I planted plants that were really small and they grew so fast because of the aid of the other tree. It just pulls itself right up. So it's the same sort of like with consciousness. And the reason being, I'm giving you the, like these parables. Once we start to get smarter, we start to actually understand more about the, the system that we actually really don't know that much about, and it's called conductivity, then we really want to share these, not secrets, but we want to share these ideas and really do the information yourself, do the truth yourself. 
do a lot of these experiments. A lot of children, a lot of people are doing science experiments. You're doing all these experiments. My whole life's an experiment. Every day you get up, remember, you're an experimenter and a researcher. Every day you figure out what clothes to wear, what to eat, and so forth. So let's give you some different things that maybe you haven't seen before because this is going to click in you. It's not just information. Remember, we're trying to really give you reasonable and logical movement and not prove it to you, prove it to yourself. I'm just a student like you, but I'm showing you some cool things that other students have shown me. So let's just go through the plan here. And they're not long videos. These are actually, remember, these videos are for you so you can get it. And once you see this, you can do further research. Don't believe us or me. Investigate it further. Now here's the fourth plant. The fourth plant in our sort of sequence of not doing anything. Oh, Nanu! She came to visit us. And, oh, got my necklace. Mm. You've seen uh, Precious in other videos. Dad, do. And uh, remember, everything we'll talk about is terrain modified, but that's another sequence. This plant, as you notice, it's pretty. It's got purple flowers even on top. Okay, this is more, I mean, what are you going to smoke? If this is tobacco, what are you going to smoke here? Remember this? <laughs> or this yellow leaf. This doesn't have any minerals in it, but you can see. This one's green. Green is life. Okay, remember, the colors of the pyramid are very important for you to see. It's just being able to understand that whatever you eat is pretty much the energy band or the level of minerals that you're eating. You can see how this plant is not only green, but its growth cycle is exponential to this one right here. And you can see how this flower, of course, is just a beautiful flower, but it really didn't grow compared to this. Now let's just go to the next one. This one here is cool, and this one's got way more flowers. And it's growing next to this plant here too, and this one here too, it's growing way more flowers, but this doesn't look too healthy. It looks like a lot of things have sort of tried to eat it and stuff. We've not put any minerals. These are cacao plants, as you can see. These plants here will be massively different because now we're going to dose these guys with the same stuff that I just went ahead and actually dosed to one you're going to see right now. Now this one, yeah, look at this plant. This is this plant that's probably one, two, three, four feet tall compared to the one we first showed you, which was about maybe four inches if you're lucky. So what ingredients did we put in there? I have four ingredients that we put in. The first one we put in is fulvic acid. And I put in a small amount of fulvic acid because I know that the soils here need help. They need to have the soils disassociate a lot of the minerals to make them so they can uptake a lot of the things that we're going to put in them. We put in a tiny bit of sole salt, maybe just two drops in five gallons because we want the variety of minerals. These are the plant minerals. And then we put in magnesium chloride. And magnesium chloride, of course, is just a full spectrum amount of magnesium. And we put in the last uh, thing, which, which is silicon. And the plants love silicon. So these four things here, I do to myself. I take these internally and use them externally. And you can see what the plant did. The plant has a massive difference in change. Just looking right down here to the one that's just growing next to it, the leaf again is bigger than the plant. Ridiculous. And you can see this plant, when I actually bend it, this plant is super hard. It's like a tree. This one here, it's pretty hard there. It's not like a tree though. This one here bends really easy. And they do sort of smell like a little bit of resiny tobacco a little bit because it's the one I touch, which is sticky, is really super sticky here. So, don't eat the tobacco. <laughs> now, um, you can see the one right over here, come over here. Now, this one here is one that I took, not full strength. I put in, remember, five gallons of liquid and I fed this a few times. And I took only a quarter strength, just a quarter. And we only put a little bit of this stuff in here anyways, but I put a quarter strength and you can see that this plant right here did grow significantly bigger than this, of course, row of plants that we didn't do really anything to. One of the plants had a little bit of aid from, remember, the plant that was growing next to it. Now, um, we have a whole lychee forest here, too. It's the same thing. If you don't put the minerals on the plant, how do you think the plant's going to actually flower? How do you think the plant's going to make fruit? So if you don't put minerals in your body, this is the whole idea to this little sort of experiment that I wanted to show you. We have the light bulb experiment to show you the conductivity is everything. And this is to prove to you what it does in the plants. 
And so these types of minerals, which basically run this machine, are totally necessary in your food. So watch what you eat. Most of the food you're buying at the store, remember, is only made out of three minerals, N, P, K. Go to Home Depot or go to one of the stores or any one of the stores that actually sell fertilizer and just ask them, I want to buy some fertilizer. You'll see some organic stuff, but the commercial fertilizers are three minerals. What makes you think, remember, that three minerals is going to actually feed your machine? This has about 70 plus minerals in it, and they're plant-based. Uh, the magnesium has the same thing. It has a variety, 70 minerals plus. The soleil salt, 70 minerals plus. The silica, the silica is necessary because the plants uptake the silica and or silicon, and our bodies can actually start to regenerate with the minerals. And some of the minerals we need, of course, are the ones that I just showed you, but there's many more, but these are the bulk and variety of a lot of the minerals. Of course you need calcium, of course you need Magnesium, that stuff's loaded with magnesium. It's got like 200 milligrams per teaspoon in it. Uh, the sole salt, same thing. A lot of these things are loaded full of the minerals we need, and you can see through this simple experiment, so the simple, simple experiment that anybody can do, and you can do this with all your plants, I don't care what you're growing, if they don't have the minerals and or if you do put in synthetic minerals, that means you have residue. The plants don't get residue with these because they're organic. Organic means that they've come from a natural place and even if there is a little bit of junk in there the fulvic actually breaks down and disassociates a lot of the particles that actually would leave residue because that's the whole problem with our body too so it's having enough minerals having enough hydration and having enough uh, well sunlight because the sunlight actually makes you so these minerals remember the plants need three things minerals water and sunlight what do we need we need minerals, <laughs> we need sunlight, and we need water.